That would have been in the fall of 1979. I had been in the South Fraser region for a couple of years and uh, the province had decided to uh, um, exercise their uh, opportunity to provide parole services for all offenders in the provincial prison system whereas previously they had jurisdiction only over young offenders I believe it was age 18 to 22 serving a definite and indeterminate sentence and it was decided that that sentence would no longer be used by the courts and so uh, in order to make parole more accessible to all of the offenders in the provincial correctional system decided to establish a parole board who prior to that had to apply to the national board um, which uh, didn't really fit the provincial model because the turnaround from application to hearing was too long to provide um, reasonable access to a parole hearing during the provincial court sentences which were of course two years less a day and less. As I mentioned, uh, one of the reasons for establishing the board was to make uh, parole hearings more accessible to provincial offenders. And um, the reasons for that was to uh, provide a greater emphasis on community reintegration. As I mentioned before, the uh, uh, the conduct of hearings by the National Parole Board um, tended to be uh, take, take a lot longer than uh, what we felt we could do and as a consequence many of the offenders didn't even attempt to apply for parole because by the time they had served two-thirds of their uh, or by the time their hearing was uh, scheduled they had served two-thirds of their sentence and were released and the branch's belief was that um, it would be more effective to release offenders under supervision provided they qualified for the release criteria. And so we established a policy um, including a procedure that would guarantee an offender a hearing within one month of their application. We were able to address any offender who had a sentence of six months or more, which was quite unusual uh, based on our previous experiences. And uh, along, with, uh, along with greater access and a quick turnaround, we also placed a, a major focus on victim reparation. In fact, we were the first paroling authority to to uh, establish a policy on victim reparation. Now the structure of the board was that uh, there was an, a chair appointed by order and council, uh, which I had the privilege of uh, being the first uh, under this arrangement. We had an executive director. I had a um, assistant. We had a clerk of the board. And we had a policy analyst. And that was it. So that was a very small um, administrative structure and then unlike um, the National Board we had part-time members chosen from each of the major regions of the province particularly in the area where correctional centers were established. These people were selected based on uh, criteria related to their community service. And it was my responsibility to recruit people and make recommendations to the Attorney General who in the early stages requested that I make about three or four nominees for each vacancy. And then it was his responsibility to recommend appointments by order and council, which was cabinet. Now he had given me the undertaking that while he might um, suggest some candidates, 
we would do extensive recruitment in the community with um, other criminal justice agencies like the police, the sheriffs, um, and of course corrections and also nonprofit agencies and civic organizations like chambers of commerce and and city councils etc cetera, etc cetera. and having interviewed and reviewed all of these um, candidates i had then the privilege of putting forward three or four people for each nomination or for each vacancy that in my view met the criteria the Ministry of Attorney General at that time had divided the province into five regions and there were positions in each of those regions that we called regional justice coordinators. These people were just incredibly helpful to John and I when we were trying to cover the province to recruit new members who were truly representative of their community. And uh, we spent probably three or four months uh, setting up meetings all over the province, talking to people, using the networks that were there in the communities to, to have people uh, from the community nominate uh, to us, bring forward names of people they thought would be good representatives for the Pro Board membership. And that, to me, was a model that worked really, really effectively.